Are die clashes valuable? I mean, how much are they worth? What do they mean? Stay tuned because we're going to talk about that. First off, for those of you who don't know, I want to introduce my website, PortsmouthCoinShop.com. I have more coins up on the site, more raw coins. I will be reducing the silver a little bit. I have a sell on some silver eagles. Um, try to be as competitive as possible with what everyone else is selling these for. Uh, silver obviously dropped on us uh, several dollars, so you know that's something to take into consideration. But I think the market's still healthy and strong. So anyways, uh, check out PortsmouthCoinShop.com. So when we're talking about die clashes, I want to go over to my website. I want to, in to share with you a picture of a die clash that I found years ago. I went through all of our uncirculated bank rolls that we had accumulated since the 80s, 70s. And I found this coin and it was so nice. And you could tell that it's multiple clashes. It's not just one. And it looked like it would be a 67 coin. And I was hoping for that because it cost me about $67 to have this coin graded. And so I sent the coin off and ended up getting MS66, which a 67 was what I was shooting for because that was about a break even point. And now I think you need a 68 even because the prices have come down. But anyways, you know, it was basically going to be worth what it was worth because of the grade, not necessarily because of the clash. The clash might have had a couple of dollars, but that had been it. So that's one of the things you have to consider. Die clashes are really nothing more than when it comes to this type of what they call a prison scent. It's pretty much die stage or die condition because after they clash and they try to remove the mark, sometimes they'll remove part of the lettering here or part of the date. Or, you know, like I said, on the reverse, you see the floating roof. All it is is where they went in and tried to remove these die clashes. So what's also important when you're looking at a die clash, and let's say most of the die clash is removed except for maybe this right here, and it looks like Lincoln has a horn on his head or something. Well, what you want to do is this. On my website, I actually have what they call um, overlays. And you can look at the overlay and see if, as far as the memorial is concerned, what it is this is the memorial and it is upside down so obviously that's what that is it's part of the bottom of the the memorial and when you're looking at these here's the wheat sense you just kind of visualize exactly what you're looking at and whether it could be a clash mark or not so you're trying to match it up like that it's good to have two coins in front of you as well and one flipped over from the reverse and one on the obverse to kind of get an idea so really when it comes to these kind of clashes they're really not worth a whole lot of money one of the things you can do, you can type in die clash on, on eBay or your favorite place to buy coins online, whatever it might be, and look up die clash. And you'll see most coins that have the die clashes like that are just basically worth uh, whatever their grade is. I mean, they're really not worth a whole lot more. They're, they're interesting. I think I even have one up on my website. And here's the three cent. And it's not even noted on the holder because there, it's so common to see coins with clash marks like these. So that you just don't really pay much attention to them, especially the older coins. It is neat to find. It is a mint error, but it's a very minor mint error. So what you can also do, you can go to Heritage and you can look up, uh, is there any clash that's worth something over here? I mean, you can look at the sold auctions and see. You see clash dies, they'll be mentioned but it's not something that's going to add value to it. So what is valuable? What would you consider as far as clashes as valuable? Well, you have to start getting into what they call counter clashes. Okay. And we're going to talk about the counter clashes. These can increase the value of a coin and there is a type one to type two. So we're going to look at that in a minute. And as you can see, you can look for the values of these. Some of them will signify a VAM because some die stages for vans or varieties would have a clash mark or clashes it does kind of help there and there are some clash marks like a clashed e on a morgan dollar that is worth some money but like i said it's not all clashes but there are particular ones that do signify a variety and i actually have one of those over on my website it's the 18860 it's the van 1a clashed e and when you're looking at these it's not probably going to be that easy to see uh, on the coin, but you do have to know where to look for it. So here's a better image of what a Clash E is at and what it looks like on a Morgan dollar. It's kind of hard to see it on some of them. Some of them is more obvious than others. 
But anyways, getting back to the counter clashes, if we come over to maddieclashes.com uh, and look at type one and type two uh, counter clashes, a type one is when the dies clash and then they clash again. And they'll impart the clashed uh, design elements onto the other opposing die uh, for the second time. And what happens is that strikes the coin and you'll have obverse and reverse as well as the design itself on the die. Now these are not as easy to identify. A lot of people get these mixed up. It is uh, worth studying before you think you have one. You need to really learn this. And then the type two is when something foreign uh, gets in between the dies, like a piece of metal or whatever it might be from the feeder finger and they clash. And then that uh, also ends up on the coin because of the clashed uh, feeder finger piece or metal or whatever it is. So that can happen as well. Most of the time, this, they, they catch it, they fix the die, they repair it, and end up removing stuff off of it or having grease-filled dies that don't strike every part of the coin or every single part of the coin. And you'll have that happen as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an image that I found um, here as your you know, counter clash, and it shows you what it looks like. These can increase the value of your coins. Here's the link, um, and here's a, a type 2. You can go over to maddieclashes.com and actually look up um, the die clashes and the type one and type two um, error-reference.com is another great place. Now we're going to get into the clashes that are worth the money, the rare ones, mule die clashes. Someone actually found a 1999 Lincoln cent in their change that had a mule die clash reverse. And what a mule die clash is, it occurs when two dies that should not have been paired together to strike coins are accidentally or intentionally paired and subsequently are clashed together without a planchet in the collar. It says the Lincoln Cent Discovery coin is the only known mule die clash from the 20th century and is unique to date. There are six known mule die clashes on coins of different denominations from the 19th century. Now I heard there might be another one found. I'm not sure. I had someone, um, ask, uh, I think, approach me about it. Uh, we're telling me they were sending it in or sending it, sending it to somebody. So here's other mule die clashes that are of interest, that are worth some money. You have the 1857 Flying Eagle Scent that shows the clash from being struck on the reverse die and the reverse die of a seated Liberty Quarter. And then, of course, the $20 Liberty. A lot of people get these mixed up. They actually um, have problems looking at coins and seeing shapes and thinking that they're mule clashes. You really need to study out the pictures Take, send it to someone who at Konica who can attribute your coins um, and look at it in person. They do charge you to do that. It's a very small fee, but it's well worth it. Um, here's the 99 that uh, had the mule clash. So yeah, those clashes are worth some money there. So as, as you can see, the minor die clashes that you find on cents um, and other coins don't really add a lot of value to it. So even though die clashes are interesting, I'm not always valuable, fun to find, but you're not going to break in a bunch of money if you find just a regular old uh, die clash so anyways thanks for watching my latest video hit the sub button and have a great day